Hello, this is Code Ode. In this video, we are going to talk about the collision of the ball with the edges of the canvas, basically with the edges of the screen area. Say we have a ball right here. It has a center, a position, an X coordinate, an Y coordinate, a radius, and a velocity vector say just let's say like this we can see that our ball is moving down and to the right and basically this means that velocity y is greater than zero and velocity x is once again greater than zero and when the ball collides with the bottom edge we want the bouncing thing to look like this which means velocity velocity x stays the same is greater than zero we are moving to the right and velocity y has to be less than zero because right now we are moving top but first things first let's talk about collision well how can we check the collision of the ball with the bottom edge. Well, we have our y position and we have our right radius, right? If we add these two and verify if this is uh, greater and or equal than uh, the height, then it means that the ball has collided with the bottom edge. So let's write this. Let's get a function, function ball collision with the edges we need a ball and uh, we say if ball pose y plus ball radius greater or equal than canvas height if this is true then ball velocity y has to be multiplied by minus one to be less than zero let's call this function right here ball collision with the edges and let's pass the uh, ball so we have the ball and let's see uh, well we need to also increase the speed on the x and the y and let's see perfect let's do the same thing for the other three edges so if ball pose x plus ball radius greater or equal canvas then then canvas width then ball velocity x we multiply it by minus one why because if the ball is right here has a center this is its velocity vector we want it to go like that which means that the x velocity the x um, coordinate of the velocity has to be less than zero because we are moving to the left and the y coordinate of the velocity has to be has to uh, it remains the same so we multiply by minus one the uh, velocity x uh, and let's see the result perfect let's do the same for the other two so top if ball pose y minus ball radius less or or equal than zero then we say ball velocity y multiplied by minus one let's see the result perfect and now for the right edge for the left edge if ball pose x minus ball radius less or or equal than zero ball velocity x multiplied by minus one and let's see the result perfect well that's it with this tutorial i hope you have learned something quite interesting and very useful see you soon